If you're going to list the objects that linear algebra studies, you would talk about things like linear equations, vectors, matrices. But to just leave it at that is kind of to obscure the centrality and importance of linear algebra. We have all this data in today's world, but to extract useful information out of it, a lot of those techniques come from linear algebra. So for instance, if Netflix wants to predict how much a certain user is going to like a certain movie, it uses the data from its other users and its other movies and uses linear algebra methods to extrapolate what the new rating might be. For another example, you could take facial recognition. Faces don't really seem linear at first glance, but to a computer, a face is just a collection of pixels, and you can treat that as a vector and apply linear algebra methods to quantify the similarities between various faces. In this course, we're going to learn about the basic concepts of linear algebra, vectors, matrices, linear equations, basis, dimension, inner products, and we're going to see how these things can be applied in various settings, such as Fourier series, audio compression, linear regression, all sorts of interesting things. I'm Steve Wong, a professor at Rice University. This is Linear Algebra, part one.